start with the Pacific People's Trust first. Um, so, did you have anything to add to the report? Nothing to add to the report, but happy to take questions. And Marie Byrne uh, is in, on Zoom uh, right. to answer questions about this, this first one. application. Okay. So, just questions on the first application at this point. Mike? I, I don't have a, a question as such. I don't need to ask anything, but I would like a signal and amendment to actually increase the amount from 20 to 25. Okay, would you like to move it rather than amend oh, it? No, I don't. Oh, could I move it, but change it to um, 25,000? Just, you're just moving one? Yep. Okay, Do, and Pauline's going to second that. Okay, um, any commentary from staff on that? No. Uh, Marie? Marie? Yeah, well, I was no, just going to... No, that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. Good. Pauline? <coughs> yeah, I was just going to, noting this is a brand new group. So they've been running since well, earlier in the year um, and they have obtained RATA funding as well already? Yes, um, it, oh. it's a newly formed group. However, they have been running informally uh, for some time and supporting uh, Pacifica and Māori uh, youth in the, in the Christchurch area. So um, it's... That, that's why it comes through as, as quite a um, recent uh, group. Um, this, this funding also will allow them to really cement themselves in to apply for other funding as well. Great, thank you. All right, thank you. Um, and any further questions? No, I'm just gonna do these separately, I think. Um, so that one's been moved and seconded. Do I have any debate? Pauline. Yeah, look, I, I just think this is a really great uh, project, particularly because it's aiming to um, not just address a minority group and bring them up to speed with other um, organisations, but also um, helping to redress the imbalance of the um, overrepresentation in the unemployment statistics, so it's specifically targeting one group. And I think this is, I'll be watching this with great interest, where do I look up there, um, to see, to to get their report back um, in a year or so to see how they're going because I think this is, I'd like to congratulate them on this initiative, it's wonderful, thanks. Thank you very much. Um, Mike? Thanks, just, just very quickly, and I, and I echo what Pauline said, I think this is a um, really good initiative, totally supported, and I think we should try and give it any, every chance to succeed, so that's why I moved that the increase went up to 25. Yeah. Thanks, Yanni. Uh, thank you. Um, yeah, I'm really happy to support this. I, I think it's really interesting that as part of our strengthening communities strategy refresh, we have specifically identified um, that Pacifica people are an area that we need to increase our support to. So I think this aligns with um, that recognition. But also just if you look at um, the, the things around the Pacific Business Collective, and again, I just wanted to um, encourage councils to think about our council companies and the difference that they could make with some of these uh, communities. When you look at what's happening up in up in Auckland, for example, with the um, Southern Initiative, which I've I've previously circulated, so you know collectively we can achieve a lot more if we work together to improve the outcomes for for those in our community. Um, and I think this group, from reading of it, um, seems like it's got some pretty good people involved. And I appreciate that staff have actually um, listed who who is on the decision matrix, which is good. Um, so I, I strongly support this. Um, and I think we do need to think about how else we can support it, not just with funding, but also with the resources that we have across our council companies and our council family. Thank you. Any further debate? No, in that case, I'll put that one. All in favour, please say aye. Aye. Anyone against? No, I declare that carried. Thank you very much. So the next one is the application um, for the Taylor's Mistake Surf Life Saving Club um, towards paving asphalt. We've had some correspondence um, from them. Um, and so I was wondering um, whether there's um, any further information at this point. Uh, yes, so I did um, look a little bit further into the application. Uh, the Christchurch City Council donated the plants. That was part of the landscaping in their um, original application. So they originally they applied for $75,000 and then they reduced it down to twenty three. Uh, 6400 um, and the regional parks have also funded the barrier arms into the car parking area there as part of the car park project. Uh, are, the, is the, are those barrier arms on the least 
land or are they on council? I think they're on the boundary, so between the car park and then the leased land that the um, Taylor's Mistake Surf Life Saving Club is on. Right. Okay. And I've just a, one other quick update. The regional parks uh, are doing car park renewal work out there, so they're going to meet um, Malcolm from the club tomorrow to see if it's reasonable to include uh, their work and part of the car park renewal work as well. Um, right, any further questions? Sorry, sorry. Just, just so I understand, it, there's a very good chance this might get paid for by someone else or something else. Is that Not necessarily what? something else, but um, there's been a, a request to look at whether it would make sense for um, maybe council to do that work as part of the car parking contract right. rather than for them to do it separately. Okay. Based on the, uh, a lot of the, the hard surface contracting work is done through a panel agreement, which um, the parks are getting very good prices for at the moment. So we may be able to get get it done for um, considerably less. We'll just have to see. Uh, part of the problem with uh, where they're wanting to Ashfeld is where they wash their boats and motors and things out. So it'll depend on what's required for that. So sorry, it, it, it will happen or do... They're meeting tomorrow to see if it's reasonable to include it in the, the existing council job to do the car park. Okay, thank you. We, are people of a mind to lay this on the table until we work yeah. out what's happening? Yeah. Um, so do we have a motion to lay it on the table? Procedural, so the <coughs> end. And Pauline seconding that? Okay. Um, so there's a, a motion to um, lay it on the table. Sorry, Mike, with... Okay. Because you've seconded the thing. It's not an amendment, though. Yeah. If we get a yeah. if we get an update, with, so so we'll bring this then. Yeah. Um. And report back to council. Yeah. Or the committee. Mm. Yeah. Whichever is first. Yep. Excellent. That's the one. Okay. Um, so there's no debate. There's no debate on a procedural motion. So can I please just have the vote on the procedural motion? All those in favour, please say aye. Aye. Any against? Declare that carried. So we'll get that one to be brought back um, following the other work being done. That's great. Thank you very much, everyone, on that. Um,